Ranger. Yep. So I'm Travis. I'm Stacy. And this was our first boat option, our 270 Rinker. That's what started this whole mess. I know. Actually, the Baja started it. Yeah, the Baja started it. We've had a few boats. This is the first one we actually did any cruising on. But this is where it all started for us, but I guess the cruising lifestyle. Now we've moved up to our uh, Meridium 411 options. But I thought we'd show you guys where it started all with the Micro 270 and just some of the things that we did to it to uh, get it ready to go cruising. Yeah. <laughs> Our Rinker was a 270 Fiesta V model built in the year 2000. She was powered by a 350 Mercruiser V8 and backed up by a Bravo 3 outdrive. The boat was in really good condition, but it needed a little cleaning and maintenance work. The first order of business after buying options, which was still named Broker One at the time, was to give her a thorough clean. She had been setting in the slip on the Waccamaw River for over a year, so she was looking a little cruddy, but that's nothing a little elbow grease wouldn't fix. Surprisingly, the cabin was a completely different story. The boat had seen so little use over the years that just a light cleaning had it looking brand new. The engine compartment also just needed a light wipe down. My mom even came aboard to lend a hand. And she's a bit of a neat freak, so I wasn't too surprised when I found her scouring every nook and cranny with Q-tips. One of the first real projects we tackled was removing and replacing the weather-worn sealant around the port lights. This is one of those jobs where patience is a virtue. My friend Mike dropped by to help us install a new refrigerator in the galley. Cold beer is a necessity on our boats, so this job was pretty high on our to-do list. After that, I donned my discount Walter White costume and sprayed our canvas with 303 fabric guard. I find it's way more effective to buy the stuff by the gallon and spray it on with a cheap, power powered paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. We also taped off the eyes and glass windows to protect them from overspray. No matter how many times I see it, I never get used to the sight of a boat being picked up by a forklift. But it certainly makes moving things around the boat yard a whole lot easier. The final project we tackled was new bottom paint. While it wasn't really needed, we figured a little early preventative maintenance wouldn't hurt. And we hired this job out but we've since started doing it ourselves. Labor rates for boat work tends to be pretty expensive, so any work we can perform ourselves, we do it. That way we have more cash to put in the cruising kitty. Nobody's giving me a call back yet. Also, having a trailer for a boat this size can save you a bunch of money. It gives you the flexibility to do work on your own that you would otherwise have to bring a third party contractor in for. On top of that, I really like towing things, so this part is just fun for me. But for now, it's back to the house to tackle some more mechanical work.
Hey, I'm Travis. I'm Stacy. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> I didn't know what you wanted.